Hey, boys and girls. It's time for Uncle Jay Explains the Hi, boys and girls, and happy 4th of July. Hi, boys and girls, and happy birthday, America. Uncle Jay's on vacation. Uncle Jay is still on vacation. Maybe you are, too. Maybe you got the weekend off uh, before the 4th or the weekend after. Just kind of laying back, not doing anything, not even changing your shirt. But you know what? Congress has the entire week off. And since our Congress is patriotically skipping their 4th of July recess this year, just because they care about us so much. Welcome to a special Uncle Jay episode all about the hardest working Congress. We're going to look back at Uncle Jay's famous episode from 2007 about congressional recess. It was Uncle Jay's first episode to go viral. So let's look back at that episode from exactly four years ago, and we'll be back with some new episodes in a few weeks. See you then. Recess is the word they use when Congress takes days off. Now, it's not like school recess. Uh, the Congress doesn't go out and play and goof off and pick on people who can't fight back. They do that when they're in session. No, congressional recess is officially called a district work period. It's when each congressperson goes back to their hometown to do a job and cons- to do the job for their constituents. There is a district work period for President's Day, Memorial Day, Independence Day. Each one of those days lasts for a week, by the way. And then there's a two-week district work period in April. It's around spring break when everybody leaves town, so the Congress people have no choice but to follow their constituents to where they are and, and work. Now, all those work periods makes them so tired, boys and girls, that they need the whole month of August for a just so they can recharge. Uh, actually, that is also called a summer district work period. So actually, that must be the hardest work of all. But the whole rest of the year, they're in Washington, hard at work, Monday through Friday, doing all the, all the actually just Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, because they need Mondays and Fridays to go back to their hometowns and work with their constituents. It's like having a home office, boys and girls, with all the savings of a home office, if you don't count the flying there and back which they don't because uh, your parents and Uncle Jay pay for that. And someday you will too. Oh, and let's not forget those exhausting fact-finding missions. Oh, they're grueling the incredible amount of facts to be found in places like Hawaii, Cayman Islands. So when Congress actually does get some time off, they have earned it. Between Christmas and New Year's, they get to be with their families. And it's actually between Thanksgiving and New Year's when they get to be with their families. It's actually between late October and New Year's. Boys and girls, if you wonder why Congress needs so many days off, maybe it's because they need to rest up for the hardworking year ahead. Because, you know, with over 90 percent of them getting reelected, they're pretty sure to be stuck in this dead end job for another term. Well, boys and girls, if you still haven't figured out the difference between work and recess, that could mean you'll be congressional material when you grow up or especially if you don't. Now, some of the details from that episode are not the same anymore, but at least Uncle Jay's shirt and sunglasses are, along with his uh, historical original intent.